Alex Bowman, Kyle Busch will lead them to green. See Logano on the outside. LaJoy got it loose underneath of him and got him in the wall a little, little bit, trying to go three wide. Three wide, middle of the pack. Logano on the attack. Hey, what? That car stuck pretty good up there in that third group through three and four. Talking about Logano in the 22. Pretty risky early. It, the one that didn't stick very good was LaJoy underneath of him. Here's the contact one lap ago. We well, see Chastain rotate down, and as Kyle's coming up, he's coming down, taking that line away. They get into it the least little bit. I think and this for could, the lead. Here comes Byron. This could be Byron's breakout season. He's always kind of been there, but I'm telling you, I think I look for him. I've already said it. I know it's bold, but I think he wins six to eight races this year. So this is the third time that he has led at Richmond. He and William Byron come to the green flag. Boy, Kyle Larson in that five all the way to the apron trying to get by. And that's going to let Byron get by on the outside of Chastain. And here comes Harvick on the inside with a launch. And he got it. Wow. Poked it in, tried to fill that gap. Chastain was trying to block, couldn't get down. Just one as a horse of a different color. Unbelievable. Yeah. These two have been battling each other at the front of this field of a NASCAR race. What is it, four races now? Same song, second verse, pretty much. But don't keep your eye off that. Take your eye off that car on the inside back there beside Chastain. Kevin Harvick in that four. He just keeps coming forward the more we go. And once you start getting this race underway, that's when it really starts separating the men from the boys. This 30 lap runs like this, that's one thing. You start looking at a 50, 60, even if it went to the other way, a 70 lap run, now you're gonna see who's got the speed, who has the grip. William Byron has just become the first cup driver. I think honestly, it's just a typical Richmond, right? Just trying to hit your marks, and so, so slick. So uh, yeah, it just seems like it gets a little bit slicker each year. Absolutely, man. Keep up the good work. Looking good. That was recorded during the break. We are back to green. Man, Bowman's still having trouble taking off. Yeah, a lot of contact back there at 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth place. They pit it from 4th and 5th and will restart out back as William Byron leads them back to green with Kyle Larson, Ross Chastain, Alex Bowman, Christopher Bell up in the top four. Yeah, over the last few laps, Kyle Larson has been about a tenth faster than his teammate. He's going to get to the outside here, right on the front straightaway. See if he can get it on the outside going through one and two. Quarter. Still there, quarter. I think he's going to. I don't think Byron's going to give him much of a fit here. Pretty impressive. Nobody else has been able to do that. Drive up and pass William Byron. These two have battled it out. Yeah, because as soon as either one of those cars get around Gregson, they're going to drive off from the other one. Larson can hold tight here on the outside, get back in front of him and get clear and make that quality pass on Gregson. See, Gregson's moving up the racetrack, not giving them the outside to get on the outside of him. <laughs> and that red car, number 20, Christopher Bell, there's the opportunity, Harrison Burton choked down that leader, Byron got to this outside. Whoa, whoa, Can opportunity he knocks. And Bell knocks on Burton's rear bumper and opens a lane for oh. the leader, Byron, on the bottom, and here they all come. Both sides, both sides, both sides. Man, yeah. that almost worked perfect. It still did, but he used that pick of the lapper and Harrison Burton perfectly. For the leaders, Hamlin to the bottom. Got that thing rotated. He's just getting it rotated and able to put the throttle down so much earlier than Bell can. See his discipline getting into the corner, though. Lifted early. Gets the car rotated, and he's going to get clear here. Yeah, Clint, that clear, tells clear, me clear. how good that car is. You mentioned it in three and four. He was able to turn that thing down. A lot of times it'll snap loose, but he was able to still get that good drive off the corner. Here's the Geico restart zone. Stage three, green flag. 
<laughs> Boy, he, he took full advantage of that Geico restart zone. He just launched out of there. Four wide. Left of your screen. My gosh. Careful. Woo, that was close. Takes me to the, the reason being is this rack and pinion steering. If you're to hit the wall, get into another car, that rack and pinion steering is very strong, doesn't bend, and that can break your wrist or something, break your thumb. We've seen a lot of those, you know, in dirt racing, dirt late models, and asphalt late models as well. On this set of tires. Almost. This is on exactly the race. what yes. William Byron, he pitted with 89 to go a year ago. Green flag. Huge jump by Truex. Larson's got this track position back. We'll see if that they got the fender fix, the correction, maybe an adjustment. See if he can get the speed to match Truex. Denny only got that one position back. He told him, give me three and I'll get the rest. Going to be interesting to keep an eye on him. I think he needs a long run. You know, that happened between those two the last time Larson caught Burton. It did. Yes, it did. Bell took advantage of it. Just like last time. You know, it wasn't that many laps ago. Christopher Bell had his hands full of Ross Chastain, and now here he goes. He's just picking him back off again now. Byron's lap times right now are one and a half seconds faster than leader Josh Berry's, which means that in four laps, absent traffic, Byron should be racing him for the lead. Well, and another real winner, Denny Hamlin. He pitted the same lap as his teammate Christopher Bell. Was uh, glad to have his his point of view. Saw William Byron driving underneath of Michael McDowell in the 34 for second. Now you see the difference right there. Only about a half a second behind Josh Berry. We're talking about William Byron in that 24, but there's Truex in that 19. That's right. So important for William Byron to get through these laps. You see him catching these cards at the right time. Obviously, Berry, his teammate, laid over for him. The rest of them, as they're fighting to stay on the lead lap, will not do so. 25 to go. Everything pretty normal on the right side. This is that stop we were just talking about on Byron. Oh, no. Denny you Hamlin. Tell him, you tell him, Mike. Denny Hamlin. <laughs> Not too good a run here. Waited on him a little bit. Got a side-by-side. -side. Try to be on his door and stay on that outside tight. Four wide for third. Oh, oh. and around he goes. In, up and into the wall goes the 24. Bell got in the back of William Byron. Turns him around. Cautions breed cautions, boys. Yes, it does. It'll be 14 to go. Larson against Barry on the restart. Another good start by Barry. Match side by side. Truex to the bottom. He's clear. Yeah, Josh Barry just couldn't get that run through the middle of one and two to stay up beside Larson going down the back straightaway. And Mike, I think he's paying the price for it right now. There you see he's under fire now from Christopher Bell, his teammate, battling for fifth. Showed up almost immediately. How long before that advantage disappears or equals out, or does it? I don't think it will. Yeah. 12 okay. laps to go, he's in trouble. Sitting duck. Oh, Kevin gives him a little bump there coming off turn four. Here's the 19. Just in the pre-race, we were talking about Kyle, man, being a little bit underrated this year or whatever, maybe overrated. And I'm telling you, this win puts him right back to where he wants to be. Had some tough finishes back on top. First win of the season for Kyle Larson. One and a half seconds ahead of teammate Josh Berry. Ross Chastain third. Good job today. Great recovery. Sorry I got this off for a little while. Well, James Small had a great strategy for all but one situation. See, pretty caution. good burnout Late here. Nice caution. The way it turned out. I think I heard that kid grabbing gears there. 